Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am doing kind of like an introduction what this channel is going to be about. Um, I did do planner videos and I kind of want to start doing them again. Um, these videos I'm hoping will just kind of be one shot, hopefully minimal editing. I do plan on making a lot more videos than just like one or two a week so I do kind of want to not spend a lot of time editing. Um, I am a single mom, I work full time, I plan on going back to school full time online and I have an Etsy shop so I don't really want to spend too 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 much time um, working on these videos. I mean I want to spend more time like on the planning rather than like trying to like edit everything out and it'll be really real maybe more um, sped up things but but yeah um, that's kind of my plan. I do have four planners here and I'll go through how I'm going to be using them and what kind of videos I'll be making um, so yeah uh, my name is Kat. I'm from Hawaii, so you'll hear a lot of like Hawaii things or um, I don't know, sometimes people say that I have an accent um, and I do say things a little bit different because we have our own kind of way of talking here just like any other place, but since more people are familiar with like the Boston talk or New York or New Jersey or I don't even know, California, Texas, that kind of talk, um, a lot of people aren't used to Hawaii people and how we talk and so if we are interested in you know, or confused on what I'm saying, just put something in the comments and I'll hopefully try to try to answer it. But but yeah, so I am gonna kind of go through this. So um let's start off with this one. I'll kinda go from like I don't know. I just wanna start with this one. This one's the least prettiest. Okay, so this is a fake Hobonichi that I got from Walmart. The pages are a lot thicker like a lot a lot thicker so that's kind of why I got it because I didn't like the Hobonichi thin like the thin papers I'm, I know that you get used to it but I don't really like thin papers and that's kind of my style it's 10 bucks and can't go wrong with it it is bigger so the kits don't quite fit but it, I make it work and it, it works pretty well except for the monthlies that takes a lot of sticker surgery um, I do think that this I do believe I can remember this planner started in July, but I bought like I wanted to start it in June because I bought it at, like the very first day of June. So, um, as you can kind of see, it doesn't quite fit well. Uh, I think that's like supposed to be the top, and I really just it took way too much work to do it. So, I'm not gonna do monthlies in here, and I can't really rip it out, so I have to kind of figure out what I'll be doing. So, let's kind of this okay so I originally planned planted but I don't even know what that word means um, I originally planned for this to be more functional habit so I kind of wrote down a bunch of habits that I wanted to kind of track and um, like incorporate into my everyday lifestyle I guess but and oh my gosh I cannot speak English um, one take might not be a good idea but I mean you know what I mean so I was really functional did a lot of to-dos love these habit trackers i wish that we could do these in like the regular erin condrens like beyond obsessed with these i love filling it in i'm more likely to do something so i can fill in a bubble then put an x or like a check like in the erin condrens really like these really just obsessed um didn't use this as much kind of started using it again last week used it a ton or maybe not last week, maybe this was a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been using it for. Um, I do have to go in and really put in like date covers and whatnot, like I, because I don't have it set to what it really should be. Um, I use this in different ways every month depending on how the kit kind of goes. And so yeah, lots of lists and writing stuff down. I kind of tracked my hours for work because was training and my hours were not really set like it was kind of you go home when you finish um and that i mean that was fine that was cool okay so oh i wanted to show you this let's zoom in oops zoom in not zoom out this i don't do a lot of planner accessories um because i don't really do anything like take it out of the house to make it look all pretty just to sit in my room but i do i really wanted this um to pin it to focus so this is a clip it's in her inspirology line um it's a coffee bean 
and you'll notice that I do a lot of coffee tracking and like I just love coffee coffee planning and marking and whatnot so that's that it's from inspire ever after um, and I do believe she's in the TPC sale this upcoming month so definitely check her out sometime this week to get some great deals um, I love her Lydia is a fantastic human she's really sweet okay you know what? I'm just gonna mark all of this off okay so that's that uh, next I have my daughter's memory keeping planner I okay so my I didn't really like this planner like I loved it and I didn't really use it as much as I should have um, and I used like I didn't use that many papers like look I have all of these blank pages and I try to add stuff in and so what I'm thinking is because I have a memory keeping planner I'm gonna make the months her months like her things I don't have a weekly for her um, and then I'll do the weekly my memory keeping you know so that's kind of what I'm envisioning I have one more month left on this so and I'm kind of bummed out and I'll probably be able to go in and fill a bunch of stuff out um, so in the beginning I started doing wait she was born in October this is my favorite spread that I've ever done in any planner I think it's absolutely adorable I love everything about it it's cute it's really scrapbooky which is what I planned on like that's what the intentions for this were I didn't want like Foiled, glamorous, beautiful, like I really wanted cute memory keeping the whole the whole thing. Oh, in love with this. And then I did like a bunch of pictures when she was born. Like a cute one little pumpkin. Oh, that's like one of my favorite pictures. You can see her little dimple in it. Um and then I did like I'll kind of do like a little flip through. December kind of didn't do much did a Frankenstein kit this one I've used this kit like three times so you'll see it a lot when I flip through um, this one I, I had an extra kit and I did the wrong thing and this was like a really pretty kit and I used it in the wrong planner but whatever um, love this one too I need like I just did not use this planner the way that I wanted it I'm kind of bummed out and I'll eventually be able to go back in. You'll see this. I'm using this in my last month. My June kit, I think. And then I do plan on not buying a kit. I'm just going to use some full boxes that I got. I don't have the rest of the, like, the kit for it. So I'm just pulling in a bunch of cute little pastels um, to make something with it. And we'll see how that goes. I'll probably end up planning or filming it. Okay, so that's her planner. I have my memory keeping planner. Um... I started it in like April so the first few months weren't too like I didn't do anything and I plan on like maybe I don't know I'll probably end up filling it with other things um, so before I was us using like a really functional planner and I don't have a lot of things planned and so I was wasting paper and stickers and I kind of realized that I need to do more memory keeping in this kind of Erin Condren planner than like the I don't I just don't have a lot of things to do until like the day of so I can't plan it out um, but when we went on our vacation I did do a lot of journaling of what I did so I was able to kind of back plan it was really pretty I Frankenstein a lot of things too this was in a grab bag from Nicole Alexia and I um, had she put in a b6 and a Erin Condren so I pulled in both to make it really work okay i'll kind of flip through a little bit i'll show you how i plan um i did some planning over here these are sticker bloom the first three things i just showed you these three um i have a ton of scribble prints co foil and that's mainly because i did like the extra large grab bag because her actual foil can be really expensive and so i have a lot of stuff to play with i don't do like the traditional setups that a lot of people do and I do plan this month on trying like the see I really love that kit my daughter loves elephants and it's like a mommy and uh, like look mommy elephant it's perfect right perfect love you tons um so I did do I tried a bunch of different things out I've just been playing around and figuring it out and sorry I'm just gonna flip through them I do a lot of Frankenstein kits I do a couple of printables. A lot of my monthlies are Perfect Prince Core um, Q 
keep it simple stickers. This is keep it simple. This is like my first real like washi, like simply gilded washi down here. So pretty. This was a kit by Inspire Ever After. I do a lot of, oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, okay, give me one second. I promise, I'm one shot, give me a second. I forgot my other planner. This is gonna be a little bit longer of a video than I anticipated, but that's okay. Okay, I tried um, color blocking last a couple of weeks ago. And I do plan on um, doing like the foiled script instead of writing everything in so that's why that's kind of empty but i do have stickers pulled um this one is okay so i do have a lot of stuff like pre-planned and i'll kind of go through like the memory keeping even though some of the base is done for some of these kits i'll go through and actually like sticker my weeks with you you know like the memory keeping aspect of it but that's that one and then let's move on to my other planner. Um, this is an hourly planner. I do plan on like just kind of doing planner key everything in here just to kind of keep it the same. Um, even though like this week is really like stickered, I don't want to do lots of like I need to go find stickers for it. Like I just have a planner key binder for this. I do plan on going to school, this, which is why I wanted to try the hourly out. Um, and I really like it so far. I think it'll be a lot better when I have school and work because I don't work like a regular, like every day is the same. I kind of do, you know, like today I work 11 to 7.30. Yesterday I was supposed to work the well, same time, but tomorrow, or this weekend I work 6 to 2.30. So I want to be able to block out and like have set times for when I do different things. And so it'll pretty much be planner key everything. And then I think I have a big order coming because she just had her birthday sale. There we go. So kind of the basic structure and I don't, I'm not someone who orders like a full kit. I kind of am really stingy with my money. So I'll buy pieces and I'll Frankenstein a lot and I'm not really too scared to kind of pull stuff in because I like utilizing all the stickers that I have instead of buying half a kit and then using it for like, you know, not really using it. But I kind of have a planner kate sticker for everything that i need for the most part like when i go to starbucks and do starbucks dates or like starbucks study time i'm going to use this sticker um and every time i do that it'll be kind of consistent so yeah this is the learning process i've never used an hourly and this week i really utilize my hourly a lot more than i had before and next week i will figure out more i guess i don't know i don't know I'm not really needing to schedule time yet, but with my shop opening again, hopefully, I will have to. Okay, you still with me? You still with me? Okay, I'm really sorry. This is kind of a scattered video, and I promise I'll get better at these. I just, I don't want to edit. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to have to. I just want to make videos, and I really love them, and I had 30 videos filmed, and it just took forever to edit them, and try to upload oh, it just took forever and so i just want to do this okay i forgot about this planner um it is a b6 tn i don't i'm not as familiar with the the terminology um but i do have these clear inserts from perfect prints co and i don't have any setup yet i don't have a setup i just have some cute die cuts that i like these are all the inserts are from aurora and avalon create avalon aurora and avalon creations yeah um, so this is pretty much empty. This is the only kit that I really put down. Um, I was just kind of playing around with some stuff. Like I don't even have anything set for this. I have a lot of cute coffee die cuts. Um, and I have two dailies. So this one's an empty one because I thought I was like I was doing it so much. And then I just had a really junk one. Um, you'll see like a ton of empty spreads like a... Uh, I just, I'm waiting for stuff to come in. This is a really terrible spread, but I think on the page that it's attached to, I really liked it. Um, I like this one. This is Easter. This one is really pretty. Let's actually zoom in just, oops, sorry, zoom in just a little bit. This spread was terrible. I was figuring out what I wanted to do. 
This is my Mother's Day spread. So this is a lot of memory keeping and I got this idea from Caitlin from or what is it? C A L L K O nine or something like that. My idea for this is to use a lot of leftovers to use mini kits and majority, like 90% of these kits will be um, the little micro kits from Inspire Ever After, like this one. It's perfect. It has everything that I need. So I have a little binder of just kits from that and I have ones planned. Like I have East or Christmas and Easter ones for obviously Christmas and Easter. I use this kit a ton. You'll see that I used it like on three different pages. It was just full of so many beautiful stickers and I want to order from her shop again, which this was Tiny Little Tulip, I believe. So I can mark like big chunks off. This was a uh, um, alley shop alley sticker shop or something like that it was a, a grab bag sampler i guess and then this is a what is her shop's name sorry guys so many different shops i just pull in everything um samantha may sticks this is from a grab bag like a five dollar grab bag and so yeah that's kind of all oh, this is the day that my best friend at work her co-worker her my co-worker oh my gosh my best friend at work, her daughter was born, so I kind of marked that. It was a good... Okay, I guess I need to do a little bit of editing um, because it just stopped filming for a second. And I was looking at my camera, so luckily I caught that. I have this cute little bookmarker. If you ever watched the kids' baby show, um, Pocoyo, it kind of reminds me of Ellie. She's like a pink elephant. So that's that. So I kind of, I have a lot to do with this and this is a lot of memory keeping too for specific days. Like I think this is my brother's graduation. No, no, this was graduation. This was the day after graduation. It was like a good weekend. So I marked that down. Um, what else? Oh, there was like a lot of good stuff with my sister and my daughter and Game of Thrones finale, you know, Mother's Day. So it's not like every day I'm going to be journaling just really good days this was easter this was the day that um, logan's godfather left and so we kind of journaled a little bit of that the rest of the day was really good sad morning great afternoon um first tpc sale or like i think i hit a milestone i don't know i don't know but yeah so that's the, my intentions for this i still have a lot more um i just haven't found the time to do a lot of planning but yeah um thank you for sitting through this really awkward terrible <laughs> video but i hope that you are so interested in what i am hoping to put out um my planning style is a little bit different than the typical person i don't do like i don't use um what are these called like i don't do a lot of like glitter headers all over here all over here and do my counting I just kind of do what i feel like you know if you look at some of these past spreads obviously there's no like rhyme or reason i have like a full box here like one right in the middle glitter header here and that's what i like i kind of like making different rolls i like i think at one point I think this may have been my old planner, but I wasn't even putting the bottom washi on the bottom. Like I was doing washi midweek. I don't know if I have any in this spread. Like I don't even have washi at the bottom of this one because it was just so full. I put it at the very top. I don't know. Sorry. This is probably making you nauseous, but I guess you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. But like I don't even think I have washi on these pages. And I like that, you know? I, I really do. I liked how these spreads turned out. And I'm figuring it out every day. I don't I haven't really found planner piece yet. And I think I'm coming at it soon. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye guys.